G'day, Steve Morgan here from ABT, Australian Bass Tournaments, uh, with a bit of a tutorial video to show you how to use the ABT Tournament Series app. It's uh, the way of the future, catching a fish, photographing it, releasing it, and having your results recorded via an app to go live on a scoreboard. It really makes fishing an exciting spectator sport. So your mobile phone is gonna become a very important part of your fishing kit. Uh, and in that light, make sure when you're going into an app-based event, it's always charged or you take a power bank along with you to make sure that this thing's always working. Um, but what you need to do if you haven't used the ABT Tournament Series app before is to first download the app from either the App Store for iOS devices or from Google Play on Android device devices. The app, it works on both of them. Um, and it's called ABT Tournament Series. So, mate, so go now and download that app. When you download it and open it for the first time, you'll have to uh, create yourself, uh, and you need an email to get a verification email sent to, and you need to make yourself a password. And once you go through that process and verify your registration, you can then go uh, and customize your profile. You can put a profile picture in, you can call yourself whatever you want. Um, we think your name's the best, makes it easy for us to see. Uh, and you are then ready to go and put things into the ABT Tournament Series app. So when it comes to an event, and my app here, which you can see on the screen, I've already mirrored it onto the screen, it brings up this cover screen. It says, please select an event. And if I go to that drop down there, I can see that the event which is open at the moment is the Flatty Bash. That's the Brook Lowther uh, Flatty Bash raising funds for breast cancer. So I'm gonna enter the Flatty Bash event. I hit it there, and then I hit the green enter button. And this will take me to this screen, which uh, I've given it permission to use my camera and my location, etc. It takes me to this screen, which is what I use to enter the fish into the app. But there's also some other cool buttons at the bottom. If you hit the far left button, that tells you all about the event that we've got on. Here it's the Flatty Bash, it's held on the broad water at the Gold Coast, got all the start and finish times in there. Next button across on the bottom, the little pin marker, that's the one that we use to take all of our photos. We're going to come back to that, I'll show you how to do it. The third one is my profile page. I've got myself a little fishing monthly logo in there and some of my own name and information. The next one across is really cool. It's the little trophy button and it brings up the live results for that event. Because the Flatty Bash hasn't started yet, no results in there yet. And then the fifth button on the far right is notifications. Any trophy fish or anything that the app wants to, uh, to let you know about as an angler, that's where they're all uh, kept in that area. Let's go back to the little pin screen here. Uh, and it, I'll show you how to put a fish into the app. Now, when you look at this screen, the top left, it's got a log button. Log will tell you all of the fish that I've already put in. You can see I've put a couple of practices, practice images in here at the moment. Uh, if I go back, I can see the top right corner, there's a button called online and offline mode. Now, online mode, you use, I'll turn it on online mode there. Um, it will submit them live as you're taking them. But if I go, and you can see this one, it's submitting the, the data up there now for one I've just caught when I was offline before. Um, but if you're fishing in an offline mode, make sure that you always log on to the event before you go, flip your app onto offline mode, you're out of cell coverage, you're taking photos of the fish, you're, you're doing all the results, it's recording all of that data on the phone. And then when you come back into a mobile phone service area, that's when it's going to go and it's going to uh, upload all of those results to the tournament organisers. So as you see, when I hit online mode there, it uploaded the one that I'd done in the background earlier on. Uh, the next button below is really important, that one that says save to photo stream. You can turn it off and on. If you have saved to photo stream, when I take a photo of my fish, it goes straight to my camera roll and that's a little good backup for me to have and it's also a photo of the fish that I've caught. So let's get the fish on the ruler. I've got a little brim here and I've got an ABT ruler. Um, you can see that through the camera on the phone there. Fish measured with mouth shut. So this carved brim here is pretty wrong. That should be shut, the mouth should be shut and I should be able to see both ends, both the measurement here at the fork and I should be able to see the nose hitting. When I get that right, I just hit the green button and take a photo. Now, that's, you don't just do that, you then have to approve that photo. I look at the photo, I said, yep, it's got the head and the tail in it, I'll hit yes. Or I can hit that little circle button on the bottom, I can hit that if I want to retake it. Let's retake that photo. I'll get it right this time, bang, I've taken that photo, and I think, yep, that's right. So that's the, the one that the organisers use to verify the length of your fish. 
If I scroll up now, I'll see another photo called the glory photo. Now, you can get your mate to take it, you can take it yourself. I'm gonna try and take one in selfie mode here. Did I get it? Nah. Nah, I didn't get it. I'll get it sooner or later. I will take a, um, I will take a photo, and I've got one in the camera roll there, of me and the fish. So there's my glory photo. And I'll say, yes, that one's in there, me holding the fish. Next line down, species. If you hit the little arrow on the far right side, that will take you to the available species. In this tournament, it's only flathead, so I select dusky flathead. And every fish I put in from now on, it'll keep on bringing up dusky flathead as my fish. Put in the length, I'll say it was 380 millimetres. It's in millimetres, all the ABT events, and you get rounded up to the nearest centimetre. So if it's 375 uh, um, centimetres, that's 375 millimetres. In this event, it gets rounded up to the nearest centimetre, so 380 millimetres that goes in it. But that's not all you have to do. You, can, you look at it there and you think, oh, there's nothing else to do. Keep on scrolling up, and it will give you this option here to submit the capture. So because I'm on online mode, I've got I've got uh, reception here through my, uh, through my Wi-Fi router, but in the field, it's through your cellular network. It then uploads the header image, uh, it uploads the glory shot, and it uploads all of the data about how long your fish is. That data goes to the tournament organizer. We have a look at the, the picture. We take off centimeters if you've been exaggerating a bit. We add on centimeters if you've done it wrong. If the mount's open instead of closed, we, we take a little bit off for that and then we verify that fish capture. As soon as it's verified, it gets put through the scoring uh, algorithms and it will come up on the, uh, on the little trophy icon there. So maybe it could be five, it could be 15 minutes after you've caught the fish, it goes straight onto the live scoreboards. And that's really cool. And you can check out what the results of the tournament are while you're still out there fishing. So when it's finished, it's important to wait for that little thing on here. It says fish reported successfully. We can't wait for more. So once you've done that, you can hit it and you go back to this main screen. I just put my phone to sleep then. Um, it won't use the battery. And when I want to wake the phone up again, bang, it comes straight back to this screen that you're going to need to put your next fish in. Now, I've got two handy tips for you as an avid user of the app. Two things that are really cool. One of them is on the top left-hand corner, there's a button called the log button. Hit that button and it tells you, and you can see on the screen here, little green buttons which says received means that the organisers have got all your data. If the organisers haven't got your data and they're orange, wait till you get back into a mobile service area and then hit the submit all button up on the left here. Uh, it will submit all of the results through to you. If that fails, don't panic. See the organisers when you get in. They can help you onboard those, uh, those fish. The other cool thing is if you are really scared of apps and uh, are worried about losing all of the data, go to your camera. So I'm going to the camera on my phone here. I'm going to take one in a different format this time. There you go. I'm taking this that photo of a brim there. I can go back to my app. And instead of hitting the green button, I hit this little one here with the photo. So I hit that one and I can pick out of my photo gallery. There's the crooked photo I just put in. I can say, yep, that's the fish I want to put in the app. Uh, I'm going to take myself a nice glory photo, They're holding the fish, that's the photo holding the fish, and then I can put all of my data in. Again, this fish is uh, 380 millimetres, uh, and I can submit that. So you can actually take a couple, take a glory photo, take a brag mat photo, let the fish go, and then you can sit down and enter it in the app if you're scared about that. But remember, if you've already put your fish in through that little, uh, through the uh, save my photos to the photo roll button, there will be a copy of that uh, photograph there anyway. So I hope there's a few useful tips and I hope you are now able to go download the ABT Tournament Series app and become involved at your next live scoreboard event.